Welcome to a partial proof, or a proof of one case, of L'Hopital's rule when we have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. L'Hopital's rule states the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x when the original limit is in the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero or any of the indeterminate forms listed here. But in this video, we only address the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. To begin, we assume f of c and g of c equals zero, f of x and g of x are differentiable, and g prime of c doesn't equal zero. Starting with the original limit, we will subtract zero from the numerator and the denominator. The reason we want to do this is because now we can substitute f of c for zero in the numerator and g of c for zero in the denominator, because remember, f of c and g of c both equal zero. From here, let's take a look at our notes on the side. We know this is the formal definition of the derivative, but we also have this alternative form of the derivative, which is f prime of c equals the limit as x approaches c of the quantity f of x minus c of x divided by the quantity x minus c. What we're going to do is transform the numerator and denominator of this quotient so that it looks just like this alternative form of the derivative. For a quick review, remember this quotient is the slope of a secant line, and then as x approaches c, the slope of the secant line approaches the slope of the tangent line, which is equal to f prime of c. Looking at the graph below, the red line is the tangent line to the graph at the point c comma f of c, but if we started with the secant line passing through these two points, the slope is equal to the quantity f of x minus c of x divided by the quantity x minus c. And again, as x approaches c, this point of the secant line approaches the point of tangent c, this point here, and the slope of the secant line approaches the slope of the tangent line, which gives us the derivative function value f prime of c. Now going back over to our work, we went the numerator and denominator to look like this quotient here, and therefore now we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by one over the quantity x minus c. Because we are multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same quantity, this is the same as multiplying by one. And now let's find these two products. Once we find the two products, notice how this quotient looks just like the quotient in the alternative form of the derivative, and so does the quotient in the denominator. We know the limit of this quotient is equal to the limit of the quotient in the numerator divided by the limit of the quotient in the denominator. And again, focusing on these two limits, these are the alternative forms of the derivative, and therefore the limit in the numerator equals f prime of c, and the limit in the denominator is equal to g prime of c. And now we have what we need, because notice how we started with the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x, and we show this is equal to f prime of c divided by g prime of c, where we find f prime of c by evaluating f prime of x at x equals c, and we find g prime of c by evaluating g prime of x at x equals c. And therefore we have what we need. We've shown the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x, which if we evaluate using direct substitution is equal to f prime of c divided by g prime of c. And again, this is not a complete proof of L'Hopital's rule, but it should help justify L'Hopital's rule when we have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. I hope you found this helpful.